Hey truck fans, how you doing? And this is the big one, and this is the UK Slot Car Festival video. Amongst the other videos that are going on, this is the one that shows you, as, as I call it, tracks and tables. So if you wanna see interviews and fun with people, like the interaction with uh, members of the people that were there, then do check out our live stream, put a little link somewhere around here, I don't know. Uh, and that'll take you right there. And that was on the day, live from the venue. We've got guests on there, Roger Barker, we've got Sean from Pender, we've got the Slot Car Magazine guys. Um, there might have been the Essex Police. Check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. Fantastic. So, enjoy the episode. This was my snapshot of the UK Slot Car Festival Tracks and Tables. Now you might notice it is what I call an envelope. So it envelopes over each piece of clip and it gives you a real round robin of what was there, the environment, the atmosphere, the buzz, and it was buzzing. Love it. So check it out. I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy, enjoy, and maybe see you in December at the Winter Slot Market on Sunday the 3rd of December at Gaydon Motor Museum. Be there, be there. We're all gonna be there, it's gonna be immense. We make our way into the main room. Hi, hey, there's Pete Shepard everyone from the live streams. What a legend, he's here setting up. And I know, because I've already been here, that his track is just, uh, his table is here racing rep because this is how bare it's going to be but it's going to look banging by the time it's set up and again our good friends so we've got magnetic racing who we were out for dinner with last night it's doug near to me and ian and that's not more guy. tracks more tracks because it's going to be powered by pedal so this is a dynamo driven track which is the goodwood hill climb slot track scenics our friends david and guy and his team Roger Barker, Barter with Barker, Justin, Jels with Jazzy. We've got Scale Models, amongst Julian Mark. Oh, hello. This room was empty last night, but now it is literally a hive of activity. The red tents there belong to Slot It, Maurizio at Slot It. And all of these traders have been in here since about half seven laying out their wares. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> So we come round, there's a likely looking chap if I ever saw one. Hey, it's the Slot Car Magazine guys. Well, right, I'm gonna pause it here because so we'll come back and have a proper chat with these legends later. Awesome, Slot It, Slot It are in the house. And Polly Carr as the leader, Maurizio, ciao Maurizio. And Maurizio as well. I remember you from last year. How are you doing? Bien. Bien, grazie. I'll see you guys in a bit. Here's the man, the myth, the legend. Mac Attack. How are you, mate? You looking well? You all good? Good man. And here we are. These are the guys. These are the guys. Mr. D's slot drag racing. He's bought the strip. Look at the size of that. I'm telling you, another track going up here. I really love that. That's looking amazing. Let's have a quick selfish sneak up on that. Holy car competition at this year's. Gaiden Slot Car Festival, UK, biggest slot car festival in the world, and we are here covering it. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm one of the directors of The Racing Room. We create tracks for all sorts of events and permanent installations. We are the company who built the Silverstone recreation at the Silverstone Museum for Scale Electrics. We have a permanent track in a pub in Nottingham called The Dragon, which you must come. We run a race night on the first Tuesday of every month, and then we take tracks all around the world. Incredible track, what can you tell us? Okay, so this is a turn for turn recreation of the Goodwood Hill Climb that they use at the Festival of Speed. Excellent. So we have the long start line from the gatehouse next to the hotel all the way around uh, past, past the hall. We've got the start, 
start of the incline up uh, our first sort of major bend then past the classic wall Beautiful. which the flint wall which many cars have been into Do you reckon Pete's gonna hit that? possibly will, possibly and then Sorry. up into the end finish as I'm scanning up here I'm seeing a Holden nice and obviously we've got the Legends Chevy but check that out if you're into chrome if you're into bling this is your machine wow that is incredible. That's the Ford Mustang right there, 390 GT. I've seen it quite a bit on previous episodes, but if you're just tuning in now, if you just got back into the hobby, these guys are a great place to start. The detail is assassin, the quality is excellent, and they do real race style figures, scenery set up. So if you want to decorate and make your track, What you can see here is a new product that they're developing, which is actually a multi-level pit, pit, ga pit garage. Let's take a look. There you go. So it is a modern garage. It is a prototype at this stage. And we'll ask Guy to stop it in a second. So as you can see, it's coming round. You can see it's got back doors. It's also got uh, an open side window, steps to the side. And can we stop it about there? Is that all right? So I'm just gonna come off to the side angle so you can have a good look at this because the brilliance of this is it's a double pit garage which can open up as one garage, but you can actually put a divider which will come with the set, and that will make two garages within the pit lanes for different teams. Nice thing is as well, is that this lifts off and can be placed on another building, and you can keep that continuity on your track going with these Excellent prototypes from Slot Track Scenics. And then we've seen these products before, but it's always worth a recap. Track lighting. Um, we've got a great idea for a diorama here. Because you've got tire walls, you've got uh, fencing, you've got flags, you've got uh, advertising, the light, you've got the edge of the track can't really see that let me bring the camera around there it is so this is actually built so it's rough so you go ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum if you drive over that absolutely spot on and then in true slot track scenic st fashion they've got a little spectator set in the grandstand phenomenal phenomenal detail I'm here checking out Copperhead Slot Car Racing with Rob, Rob and Nick. Nick. 
and they've brought to the UK Slot Car Festival this year, 2023, a fully scenic, decorative HO track. As you can see, they're putting on a show for me. Uh, detail is amazing. We've got a crash down there, track fans. We do love a good crash. And they're off. We've got embanked corners. They've got bridges. They've got underpasses. And they've got the detail to make it look good. That's me taking out their uh, pop-up stand. This is fantastic. So how long would it have took you to have, um, put all this track together with the scenery and everything? A couple of months. But it took couple a couple of months. Sort of smart to make it kind of exhibition ready. Yeah, yeah. These things fly, don't they? That's our newest track fan, Ruben. If you want to see a bit more about him, tune into the live stream from Sunday. Great, great guest on the show. And then I'm going to pan round. We need no introduction to this. Mum standing down here, right at the money shot of Mr. D's slot drag racing. You can see the length. Do you want your car out? That's right, look at this, guys. This is. I don't know what that is, that's one of Cliff's old cars. Right? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> that is going like stink. Yeah, we had eight runs of 50 miles an hour yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Was that you guys or guests? Yeah, no. So we had, we had 50 plus miles an hour on this drag strip. Whoa! Let's see it go. Steve's going to set one up and whistle it down there. So you can look back on some of our videos. We actually did a road trip over to Mr. D Slot Drag Racing. Uh, great hosts, exceptional racers, exceptional racers. So this is going to give us a good view of the track. You're going to see the countdown. Ow. Boom! Here we go. Watch the lights. How fast was that, Steve? 40 miles an hour you've just witnessed and they had 50 miles an hour yesterday multiple times good show steve thank you mate go past here the detail on this track is exceptional because you'll see yeah you can see there that the actual stop sign lights are in play and then they come off as the trucks go past so what is this is this Tyco US 1 Tyco US 1 trains and love like life like trains uh, incorporated into the same diorama setup. This must have took, how long did this take to set up? About 30 man hours. 
30, hours, 30 hours, which is 10 hours short of a working week on paper in the UK. <laughs> and they've done this in about six. That's exceptional. Have a look at the squeeze, you like this. Right, let's have a quick look in. What are we looking at? Squeeze, so what happens is, the trucks, yeah. one truck will wait for the other at the uh, Okay, so that pit point there is called a squeeze. Yeah. And what happens is a truck comes up to it, it will wait for the oncoming vehicle or vice versa yeah. before it will go through. Here we go. So, so the blue light comes on, but the other yeah. one's gonna miss it. The blue light says the truck, the truck has struck in on the contact rail, yep. and it will then stop any other cars coming into it until it's clear. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's fun. Yeah. So how long have you been tinkering with Tyco? And well, I suppose my wife bought me a lifelike Roland rail set in about 2008, and I, that's when I found out that Tyco had done something similar, and I just got into it. I used to do motor Mimic motoring, doing what Dave and the other guys are doing, but yeah. this works so much better than Mimic. Oh, OK. These, these trucks are heavy. Look, I mean, this is a big Look at the weight of that. I mean, it's it's so much heavier than a Mimic car or a yeah. Mimic Yeah, yeah. The most beautiful chassis, look. And the Bugsy motor weights. Yeah. And there's people in America 3D printing the, um, the gears we can yeah. get. They make these contact strips. Twin metal reversing pegs, the full length uh, pickup strips. It's really high quality engineering. Okay. Uh, made Thank it you. Long, but it's brilliant. You know? Fantastic. Some caravan racing. Absolutely spot on. Great marshal in there. All oh, derailed, but they are holding in there nicely. Let's try and follow it. Drift in the caravan, I love it. This is right on my street. So this track is pretty special for, not just because it's a pretty special track, but Paul is here from Mission Motorsport. Track. Mission Motorsport, that's it. And uh, what it's for is raising charity for veterans, which being a soldier myself, a former soldier myself, ticks my boxes, so. Great, great thing to do. He takes this track all around the UK doing events, bringing uh, smiles and happiness to most people because, let's face it, who's ever raced a Skelectric uh, caravan before? Okay, so if you're a regular to Track Fans TV, then you'll know what this is. We are at Polycar, which is a brand in tandem with Slotitz, which is championed by Maurizio and Maurizio. They've come over from Italy, they bought the track to race, as you can see. Some budding Track Fans are on the paddles and they are, they are giving it a good race video, and this is a great track. So thanks to Maurizio and Maurizio and his team for sharing this with the UK Slot Car Festival. Um, quick, Marshall, Marshall. Right, moving slightly round, we've got Scale Auto. Scale Auto's gone for a, kind of like a camouflage color. They've gone slightly green. Not quite sure why. Not sure why at all, but, it looks good, it looks all right. It feels grippy, that's one thing. It doesn't look like it has much texture, but I can assure you it does. It's like a fine grade sandpaper. And this will be busy later, lots of people trying to race. It's situated right next to Slot Car Magazine, Rick and Mark, we'll have a chat with them in a bit as well. Although we had them on the live stream, so, here we are. Remember we had a chat with Alan from Four Lane Blacktop? Well, what they've got, what we saw before was their HO scale racing. What they've done is a proper treat. Look at this of a mammoth track. Uh, this is a one in 32 scale raceway. You could possibly do one in 24 scale on this as well, I would imagine. We've got the riders and the racers are on the, 
rostrum, on the po uh, rostrum, they're up there, they're racing. This is some straight, look at this. I mean, this would even get Mr. D, Steve at Mr. D going for a drag strip. It's a drag strip within a race circuit. Let's take a walk around here. What a track, look at that. Marshall, great marshalling. Well done, Ruben. Let me get this right. One in 32, scale strictly figures. So if you have a look at the backdrop in my den, you'll see their card on the wall. It's the place I want it to be because they're my go-to figure providers or one of my go-to figure providers. And again, we like to look around the detail that they put into these dioramas, right down to rucksack straps. Fantastic. We've got a fishing scene. So I don't know if you can actually see but you've got the extension parts of the fishing rod detailed in, along with some scenery and some extra bystanders. Now this is a great figure. Can I pick this up, Steve? Thank you. So we've got the Barmy Army in the house. This, this is right up my street, being an avid England supporter. Up the England, in the house. So. Strictly one in 32 scale, one in 32 scale, strictly figures. Put my teeth back in. I've only known them for like a couple of years. And then again for some detailing. I've actually got a couple of German Shepherds there. Are they uh, police? Yes, they are. So they're actually police with the dog section, dog handlers in the dog section. And then you've got. What I like about this place is that they don't just have one template for a figure. If you look at this lady and the girl here, you can see behind them the same lady and girl, but in a different format. One's blonde, one's brunette. The girl's got a yellow and the other girl's got a violet dress on. So you can have the same figure as your pals, but it will be different. And then again, lots of creative ideas. Because like I said to uh, our friend online a while back, you're not gonna want it, you're gonna need it. And there's a difference. So here we go, we've got the, we've got the guy in the nice motor getting swamped by some ambitious ladies. Moving round to Magnetic Racing's building, which is actually a merchandise stand. And you get the detail, check the detail. Try and get a focus on it. On the bag. There you go, that's better. Phenomenal. And again, more magnetic racing. Let's take it out. We've got a small pit crew here. So I like showing you this stand because it gives you creative ideas. If you follow them on Instagram, you'll notice this is the donut stand from Iron Man. It's been, hyped, it's been customed to say Tara's Donuts. But do go over to Instagram and follow Skewer. I'll put the link up on the screen now. And what you do is you get to see the inside of the building. So Tara's just kindly taken the lid off so we can get in there and check out that detail. Look at this, donuts with sprinkles, right down to detailing on the grills. And as we come round here, you've got the office worker placing invoices, making orders. You've got signs on, on there, on the wall. And I'll come around here so you can actually see what's happening on the shelving. You've got banana. You've even got age wearing on the banana. Utter fabulousness. That's pretty cool. You've got a guy there with a selfie stick. 
There it is. There's the Kazi. The magnetic racing toilet. Theirs is much better than mine. I've got work to do. Aha, aha. This is the Dunlop Marshall post that I'm currently building. This, yeah, it's looking better than mine at the moment. Um, we saw this before. This is quite interesting to talk about because this is from Wasp, W-A-S-P. I've not met Wasp yet. Are they at the show, Wasp? Okay, so we'll catch up with Wasp another time in a more safe environment from 132 scale strictly figures. Find them on Facebook, find them on Instagram. It just gives you some ideas on what you can do if you were to buy unpainted figures from them and actually the detail levels you can get to. They make no apology for detail because it's your track design that you're building and amazing. Podium finish to finish the round of Tara and Steve's stand. Good job this practice. Are we, are we practicing? We're yeah. Good. We're good? All right, let's bring around to the start, Trav. These guys need to get to the restaurant. Maybe they get to the restaurant, let me just check. Ready for yep. the races, John? Yeah. 20 lap race. 20 lap race. 20 oh, laps, right. All right, ready? So we're at Take Austria. Take a seat, guys. Uh, Austria, slot track scenics, 20 laps. Let's track fans. Let's do it. That's, That's our, car, our guy. car guy. Not competitive in the slightest. Watch the lights, mate. Use your glasses. That's it. Oh, oh, day tricks. Here we go, we got it. We got uh, I've got to bribe the marshals. I've cheated. Come on, Orange. Come on, Orange. You got this, Orange. Come on, we got this. Up the hill, down the hill. Sounds like my life. Here we go. How many laps? Oh, come on! How many laps are we in, boys? Oh, that's it. No, oh, what? Feels like 20. Do we need a toilet break at some point? Yeah, toilet break. Can we cut to a commercial? Oh, this is good. This Can is. Can we uh, cut to a commercial? Tell you what, this is a great track to race on, Travis. I'll tell you what, I know. Uh, you know, you know what though? It's the same. Yeah, slot track scenics. David and Guy will talk you through it if you, you want. want. Oh, I've got to come in an outside lane on in. that one. Come to lap in. I think we can, yeah, oh. I think we're going to bring it home nice and slow now. Now, do I want to be ruthless and cheat? Oh my god, he spoke too soon. Let's cut him off. I oh, know he's gone the other lane. He's going to lose it now. Oh, 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 oh. oh what? You're from Liverpool. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Wait your turn, wait your turn. Oh, here we go. Oh, have you caught back up? I'm going to know. I'm still a lap down. Standard. Standard. Oh, cheers. Standard track fan. He's knocked it in. I'm going around a fast no, corner. I'm not overly familiar with the Austria track, so I, I can't tell are. you the corners. That's it. Go on in. Happy there we go. Time, the detail on this track is spectacular. Well we'll get some good grip. All of the Scenics are from Slot Track Scenics. They are. They do a very and good job. They lucky do. Them, we? Yeah, lucky enough to race on this track Can as well. Prototype. 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 Prototype building we look at. Ah, yes, I'll put a picture up in the corner uh, just to remind people what that is. Yeah, top pit lane garage that you can disassemble and use in different fashions if it suits you. That is going to be exciting for slot, slot track scenics fans everywhere. Thanks, Peter. That's it. Slower on the red car, putting back on, please, Marshals. I'll slip you the fiver later. Yeah, and that's why you're killing it. You've been round this track, haven't you, in real life? I've got the feel for it now. And we got lap time, boys. Oh, lap time. Last lap, really? Right, I've got you now. Coming after you now, Travis. This is it. Oh! Oh! That was hard work when it wasn't. And who got the fastest lap time, do we know? Ah! Banger. Well done, mate. Well, well done, done, fella. Uh, the tracks are Yeah, it's rigged. rigged. It's rigged. No. Those are legends. Good job. Fantastic. Thank Thanks, guys. Much. Brilliant.
Okay, so decent start. Past the brown lake where the lady provides really positive. Around the first hairpin. Past the second, you start to get cold now. Do your coat up. No, the heat's not, it's cold up here. Back down the hill now. Final. Can he handle the pressure? The crowd's getting excited. Last couple of corners. And go, 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 go. Here's something that's close to my heart. It's the Rockingham Slot Car Club track being run and managed by our friend David Farrow. We had a chat with David Farrow back in Milton Keynes swap meet. So if you want to know a little bit more about what David's about and how to get involved in club racing, check back to the MK swap meet. It was around about February in my video feeds. And we've got a racer, he's racing the police car which is a slight nod and compliment to the Essex police who have bought down this car that's liveried up. And we have got a racer on the race in the police car. He's actually racing better than me because he's keeping it in the slot. We got ourselves a race happening track fans. They're racing for sweets, no money involved. This is a family day. Go, they are in the race. And we are off on the first corner as a multi-car crash. Pile up, pile up. He's bringing it around. The cop is actually chasing the car now. It's actually reality. Ooh, self-marshalling happening. Awesome. Dave Farrow is a one-man marshalling mission. Great acceleration down the main straight. How many laps in the race, David? Nine. Okay. Five laps in, four to go. Down to the final lap. There we go, that's it. You're quite easily the winner there, brother. Fantastic race, lads, well done. But nobody goes away unhappy. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Well done, Rockingham. That's a great, great track. Yes, I've been waiting for this for ages to see Mac and Jade from 132 Models. These are one of my preferred go-to model providers. Can we film? Cool. Gotta ask, get a permission, right? So, what have we got here? Mad Max? Yeah? Cool. Awesome. Is that Mel Gibson or Tom Hardy? Yeah. It's got to be, hasn't it? Charlie's Angels? 
cannonball run. See, I wanted to get a reaction from Mac and it worked, a treat. So these are some of the figures that you can, you can buy online. You can find Punch 132 models into eBay or Facebook and you'll find it in a heartbeat. There you go, just in case. There's the case. So you can buy them unpainted. If you've got time, that's a great way to pass time. If you have no time, get yourself some Blues Brothers. Get yourself some painted figures. And here we have a right concoction. You can see detail. And this looks like it's a bit of a set. So would you buy that group of people together? That's good value. That's pretty good. Okay, so you can only actually get it here today. So come next year and pick up a set. So after my own heart is Dell, Uncle Albert, and Rodders, Monge 2. Great detailing. I really enjoy coming to 132 model stand. Not only are they insanely talented at what they do, but it's really nice. Guys, salt of the earth, I tell you. So if you were to get in touch, you're going to get an answer by a human, and then you're going to get help as you want it. And as you can see at the back here, they're ready with the trading cards to do top trumps later. Okay, thanks, Mac. Thanks, Jade. That's the team from 132 Models. Oh, I didn't realise, but there's Steve Hills from True Speed. Now, Steve's a great guy, a phenomenal racer, and a total anorak when it comes to building world-class slot car controllers. So he's got the True Speed brand, which pretty much 95% of racers in the UK will use. So you might have seen my controllers from Rockingham. And this is the latest, the Apex. And that is a phenomenal piece of engineering and technology. So if you like it, you can find him at truespeed.co.uk. Steve's a lovely guy and he will help you out to the end of the world. He's helped me no end. I appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. So we'll cut back in. And we've got the Mark II Escort Zack Speed. Useful bit car. Let's bring it out into some lights so we can admire it. That is a nice bit of car, nice livery. Feels solid as well. So, how long does it take to develop something like this? Well, that one just took us really quite a while, but um, we commissioned that actually four years ago. Yeah? Um, we had a few little issues, obviously, Covid and this, that, and the other. Um, but we got it out, Team Slot does proud of that. Lovely wheels. Which leads us nicely into. So I'll pop that back on there. They've developed really cool wheels. So if you're looking to pimp your rides or be slightly different from other club racers on the night, what you find in club racing is if you get Group C, everyone races a Porsche 962. If you get Group 5, everyone races a Zaxby Capri Turbo. So actually, rather than look at the wrong car, you could maybe put some different wheels on and get, get some differentiation on the track. And here you can see some of their other models that they've released under the staffs, under the team slot brand. And lovely, look at that. That is a nice bit of kit. And then this, this. This saved my butt yesterday because I had a 0.9, was it point, yeah, 0.9 hexagon driver that rounded 15 minutes before my polycar race. So I whipped around to Pendle Slot and I saw these and I bought one, the long, long one, and it is amazing for changing tires on Polycar Lotus 72E, where you have to inject the, the screwdriver through the tire to get to the grub screw. So fantastic. If you want to find out a bit more about these guys, they have a website, 
Staff Slot Car UK.com. The man, the myth, the legend. Introduce you yourself. Oh, you're right. Steve, Steve Wright in the mix. There you go. That's the man, the myth, the legend. He will help you and his team. From so this track we're looking at here is 1968 to 70. Very much classic track indeed. We've got your man from A1 Slot Racing overseeing the competition. It's family day, don't forget. So guys are going around getting 17 races in. And there's the quickest racer. And he is a natural. Absolutely spot on, I'm jealous. Wow, this is good. That is good. Have you ever thought about club racing? Oh, do. Just a nice, simple figure of eight. And this lad, what's your name? Oscar. Oscar is driving this like a boss. This is good. He's got the Ford GT40 on the track. And that seems to be his nemesis corner. We all have one. I have numerous ne Nemesis corners, but Oscar is owning this track. Good race, Oscar. We're on the Slot Car Magazine. You can buy the Slot Car Magazine online or from Pendle Slot Racing if you're a bit old school and want you, you want to, I don't know, sit and read it, leaf something, have something tangible for your money to see, to, to collect. Because some people don't only collect cars, or scenery, they actually collect data and information. Who'd have thought it in this day and age, people collect data. But this is what you can see. My man, Mark. Are you, are you live? Not live. So I can swear? Yeah. And you can edit it out? Yeah. <laughs> ah, well done. You, you have me on the edge there. And, he's, uh, and this is Rick who has to put up with Mark. Yeah. Exactly, I'm not sure the gentleman are back. Uh, that's Bryn from Australian Muscle Car Magazine. Brent. Brent. Brett. Brett, sorry, third time lucky. I can't hear you because I've got cloth ears. I got arrested earlier. <laughs> so here we go. So that's Brett from Australian Muscle Car Magazine. So this is a little press gathering I see here. Brett's only here to do an article on Festival. Just come for this. So he's come to do an article specially on the UK Slot Car Festival all the way from Australia. Yeah, yeah so anyway, I will leave them get back to their, uh, to their meeting. They're making things happen. Cheers, guys. Thank you. This is quite cool. Interesting. Very interesting. And then vintage. I think I remember these guys from previous MK swap meet. They're doing a lot of varied stuff as well, from track to buildings to cars. Good stuff. So, ah, nice one. So this is quite a nice example. I'm here with the guys from Weevil Slot Cars. Uh, you can Google them, uh, all the W's, weevilslotcars.co.uk and um, you can find contact details on there. But what I liked about them, this is a classic example of someone who's come to the Slot Car Festival prepared. So we've got Carrera all the way along here. We've got SCX. We've got Ninko. We've got Polycar. We've got, quite frankly, everything. More SCX. Team Slot. Slot it, NSR, Fly, Avant Slot, Scale Extric, and then some more collectible things. There, yeah, so this is one example of the absolute cross section of cars you can get from most traders at the Slot Car Festival. So, thanks ever so much for Weevil Slots. Now everyone's going crazy for these. These Legends cars, everyone 
is going crazy. Now that one looks awesome. Wow, brilliant. So it would be wrong to come to the Slot Car Festival without checking in on the man, the myth, the legend in scratch building and car dealing, slot car dealing. We've got Pete Shepard's gig here. There's his Sprite. Is this the Austin? That's the AC Cobra. That's the AC Cobra. That's the uh, Elva Courier. So there's the Elva Courier. Talk me through him. Uh, it's a very oddball uh, late 50s British sports car. Late 50s uh, oh, that one there, yeah. Speedwell Sprite. Yeah, go back. Another Elva Courier. Yeah, one. Elva Courier. Uh, MGA. MGA. Uh, MG Midget. MG Midget. Uh, LRJ2. LRJ2. What year is that? Early 50s. Uh, oh, nice. Pre. No, that's after war, isn't it? Uh, Austin Healy 100. Austin Healy 100. Which actually leads me nicely into isn't that one of your kits, Pete? It is. I don't stock it. Pendle slot stock it. Okay, so you can oh, get it through <laughs> distributors. Uh, Ferrari 250 Tour de France. Yeah. Uh, Lotus Mark 9. Lotus Mark 9. Porsche 550 Spider. Porsche 550 Spider. Mr. Uh, Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Mr. Chevrolet. Oh, Lister Chevrolet, yeah. sorry, chat uh, fans. Tajiro Jaguar. Tajiro Jaguar. Try and say that after a uh, skinful. Aston Martin DB1. Aston Martin DB1. And a Ferrari TR58. And a Ferrari TR58. All scratch build by the maestro, <laughs> Pete Shepard. So if you want to know a little bit more about him, tune into a live stream from uh, the 14th of May 2023, where he joined us and took us through his entire workshop like any absolute Roman he is. Thanks, Pete. Cheers, Pete. You're an absolute credit to the hobby, mate. I tell you, this stuff is amazing. And if you want to buy some kits, reach out to Racing Replicas. Just punch that into Google and it'll, it'll light up like a Christmas tree. Amazing. Can he become champion of the mountain on Saturday? <laughs> Pressure's on. He's doing well. Commentator can't get to him. He's watching. Got the paparazzi's here as well. But his practice run was 28 2. Looking at a little bit more HO now, we've got four lane, black top. And I've just been having a chat with Alan here, who's from, you can find his club in Bulkington, near Devices in Wiltshire. Uh, I'm gonna come around the other side of the track actually for a little bit better light. There you go, that's much better. And what you've got here is a four lane race track. I like the way that it's color coded, like actual, as if it was a race, track at a club that is and as you can see you've got some great straights very tight hairpin there that will be a lot of fun tripping a lot of people over check out these beautiful alphas here in fact let's go the other way around so this is the slot affair and they are coming in with some significantly nice cars here, guys. And what I noticed as well is if we whip back through these Alphas, you've actually got some really nice Tyrrells. You can pretty much get any kind of livery, colour, style, design that would suit you because these are pretty good. And as you can see, they do good deals when you come to the Slot Car Festival. That is a good price for a Tyrrell, I can tell you. 